damn. All this time I thought I was recording, but I was not recording. It had an SD card fault. So sorry about that. Anyway, everything tested good. These things do a lot of power right out of the box. And there is no DC input for these. Strictly AC. There's no switch like there is on the 2547s. sure they stack these things up and then uh, okay I don't want to unplug my bird let's see let's unplug that adjustable power supply and we'll plug into this one big enough okay everything that damn cord gets in to everything yeah God, I hate that okay See this part. But twenty seven two oh five, and they are using, uh, I believe they're using LEDs in the meters. Looks like it anyway. So to do with my Ranger. I just had it in my hand. Good Lord. Well, this is not my Ranger mic, but it'll do. It's wired for a Ranger. connected to the right spot and on external hello audio audio one two test test hello test testing one two one two test audio testing and we're doing Probably almost 175 uh, peak envelope power, right at uh, 180. Hello, audio. Audio, hello, hello, audio. It's uh, 20, 40, 60, about 60 watts dead key. I do like the fact that the 
power supply just kind of runs in the idle until you key it and need the amperage and then the fan speeds up. And with the lid on it, you can't hardly hear it. But this has got one of those four MOSFET amp boards in it. Uh, they work pretty good. The only problem that I have with these, I will fix it. Okay, that's channel 20. Where's my body at? Channel 20. Okay, they corrected it. I was having to change out all of these filters because you could hear that signal on 20, which I've got the generator set on. You could hear it on 19, uh, not 185, 20195, and then 21, 215. So we had like a, a almost a 30 kilohertz spread with that other filter. HTW, I guess means wide. Okay, but as you can see, well, no, you can't see. You can't see the display. And these displays, you have to look at them head on because they've got those little square dots in the numerals so that you can't look at it at an angle because it, the, the little square dot blocks off part of the display. My buddy over at uh, Trucks CB pointed that out to me. Brian over at Trucks. He, uh, yeah, he's my competition, but he's also my friend. He's a good guy. You guys need a radio real quick, uh, get a hold of Brian. He can hook you up. Tell him Lester sent you. Okay. Moving on. Need to get busy now. power cords you can't disconnect them so they're always in the damn way so I have to tie them up tie them to a fan to keep them up out of the way till I get through You guys may know it, may have noticed the way I've got my bench set up. I learned this method when I was in the Navy. It's a, uh, you keep everything close by. All my tools are right there. All uh, parts are right behind me. I just turn around and pull out a drawer. I keep the cleaning solution, the deoxid, the alcohol, all that stuff is right here, right where I can get to it real quick. I keep a uh, a little supply of heat shrink that I use a lot real close by sitting right over here next to my bench got my bench cookies right there uh, you know I got my zip ties right back there behind me so I can get to everything real quick you know I don't have to get up walk over there sometimes I do you guys seen that get up and walk over there to get a transistor or something and it's all right here okay and I find that my soldering skills are much better if I'm seated. <laughs> That's how they taught you how to do it in micro men repair. You Navy guys know what I'm talking about. All right, I need to get busy with this one. Okay, now. I'm going to put you guys in time lapse, time lapse mode, and you know that if uh, there's something on that I do that you want to see more closely, go down at the bottom right-hand side of the screen, click that little, I guess it's a gearbox, and select speed, and then just slow down the speed to where you want it. Okay? That way these videos don't turn out to be two hours long. 
All right.
Okay. I need to do the SP1. Uh, and also... Let's see, did you order an SP-1? Yes, you did. Okay. So I need to do the SP-1. Uh, the CP-1 is not switchable. And I need to do the clarifier alignment and do the radio alignment. Now that I've got everything uh, done almost. As soon as I get the SP-1A in there installed, then I'll do the uh, alignment, full alignment. Also need to set the bias on the finals. All right, so more to come. Nope, nope, nope. these up here and tie them off but that's where you can just simply disconnect it See that run there? Just plug and play. One pin wants to keep coming out of there. Any part of it. Just get your butt back down in there. Okay. I need to connect it to the switched side. Okay, that guy there is turning on AC.
on to make sure I got the right one. take a chance of it missing.
Okay, one last look at the inside before I start putting the covers on it. Here's your SB1A. I just finished adjusting it. I've done the tune-up throughout the radio, set the bias, uh, all that good stuff. There's how your SP1 connects. It connects through connectors. So all you'd have to do is unplug this one and plug it back into the board if you ever wanted to bypass the SP1. But with a switch here on back, you really don't need to bypass it. Just cut the switch off and it's it's not totally out of circuit. It still acts like a little mic amp, but it's pretty much out of circuit. But uh, if you use a stock mic with that, you know, a non-amplified microphone or even a, a, a uh, SRA-198 or SR-198 microphone, is it SR? Anyway, it's it's the Ranger 1, 198 mic. Sounds really, really good with the uh, SP1A. And I believe that was the absolute last SP1A I got. The only thing I got left to do now, uh, and I almost forgot about that, is put your uh, Max Mod in there. But I noticed when I looked at the container that Max Mod was sitting in there, so I need to put it in the radio. Okay, let me do that. I'll be back. Okay, one last shot of the inside of it there. This is your SP1. There's your Palomar Max Mod. There's the CP1. Here is the less calm noise filter. Okay, the connections for your high cut and the noise filter, they're on the board. Switches in the back. Oh. Uh, you can see I used heat shrink on all the pins. All right, I mounted the Max Mod up a little higher on the, the side rail so that it would distribute the heat a little better than the way they had it with it mounted all the way down at the bottom. All right, I've done the uh, Clarifier Mod. Uh, let's see. Uh, added the added full coverage there's where your uh, SP1 connects to the radio these cables here this little Y thing here if you decide you don't want to do that you just unplug it there unplug it here and plug this back into the board there and all done okay now let's do some checks Let's see if I got it. Yeah, it's still plugged up. It takes it a second to power on. And boy, these LED lights really generate the noise. Okay, I changed my slugs. We have a 250 watt slug in peak and a 100 watt slug in RMS. Okay, I'm on channel 20. This is what I mean by those those little squares in between the, the numbers. 
uh, the parts of the numbers. Once you get over here, you can see them real bad. But as long as you look at it straight on, there's no problem. All right. Let's see. What are we in? We are in. Okay, that's AM right there. Ah, let me show you the. Okay, we're in AM. Now I'm going to turn on the Ranger noise filter or the less calm noise filter. It's the less calm noise filter for the Ranger. See how that cleared that up? Okay, now I'm going to turn on high cut only. There's high cut. Less calm noise filter. High cut and less calm noise filter. Works great. Okay. The one closest to the amp section is for the amp. And I've got them all labeled. The only one that's not labeled is the one over here on the end which is for the SP1A. I don't have any more labels for it and they've discontinued it, so I'm not gonna order anymore. Uh, it does have a switching power supply, which makes the radio lighter. In my opinion, it works better. Isn't that nice? Now let's go to sideband. They're both off. Both on. You're really going to like that. Okay. Back to AM. Get set up here to do some power checks. Apologize. Get a chance to set up the camera. Okay, let's zoom in a little bit. All right, what are you doing? I think what I want. I want the zoom. There we go. A little more. Come on. I have to beg it. All right, that's good right there. Like I said, the meter on the left has a 100 watt slug so we'll be reading on the bottom scale meter on the right has a 250 watt slug so we're going to be reading on the top scale i'm in am uh amp is off actually i'm going to turn everything off okay Hello, audio, audio one, two. Oh, it might help if I turn that up. All right, so we're dead keying. What is that? Uh, two, about, about three watts. Audio, hello, hello, audio. Audio one, two, one, two, audio. Audio, hello, hello, audio. Okay, now I'm going to turn the amp on. Audio, almost 200 watts. Audio, audio, we're dead key in 40. Let's turn RF power down to about 30 watts. Audio, oh, it's still backing up. Okay, down to 20 watts now. Audio, still backing up a little bit. Down to 15, audio, audio. But that's over 150 watts peak power or forward swing. Okay. That's on AM with the amp on. All right. Now I'm going to change to lower sideband. And our power still all the way up. Hello, audio. One, two, audio. Over 100 watts RMS. And audio. A little over 200 watts peak. Okay.
The amp fans have not kicked on. They're still quiet. Now I'm going to turn on the uh, SP1A. We're going to go back to AM. Going to turn RF power down all the way again. Hello, audio, audio one, two, one, two, audio. Audio one, two, three, four, five, five, four, three, two, one. Audio testing, testing audio. I'm going to turn RF power all the way back up. We're still on AM. Mic gains all the way up. SP1 is on. Hello, audio, audio one, two. Audio, hello, audio. The main thing is what it sounds like on another radio. Let's see. Can you hear that over there? Audio, hello, hello, audio. No, you can't. I'm in the wrong mode. Okay. Hello, audio. Audio, one, two, three, four, five, five, four, three, two, one. Audio test. Now that buzzing you hear is coming from those lights. All right, so we get the tops on it and everything and get my power supply away from those lights. You don't hear that buzz. Audio, hello, hello, audio. Audio, one, two, three, four, five, five, four, three, two, one. It is rather annoying. I'm going to change back to fluorescent bulbs. I just haven't done it yet. Audio, audio, hello, audio. Audio, one, two, three, four, five, five, four, three, two, one. Audio. Okay, now I'm going to go back to sideband, lower sideband. i got to change modes on this radio. Audio, audio, one, two, three, four, five, five, four, three, two, one. Audio test. Hello, audio. That's with the SP1 on. I'm going to turn the SP1 off. Audio, audio, one, two, three, four, five, five, four, three, two, one. Audio. SP1 off, RF, RF power is all the way up. Mic game was not all the way up. Mic game's all the way up now. Audio, hello, hello, audio. Now, SP1 on. Audio, hello, hello, audio. Audio, one, two, three, four, five, five, four, three, two, one, audio test. See how easy it hits 100 with that uh, SP1A on? thing is a monster. Audio, hello, audio. Audio, one, two, one, two, audio. Audio, hello, hello, audio. That was nothing there but the CP1, okay, and the stock microphone just then. Hello, audio. Audio, one, two, three, four, five, five, four, three, two, one, audio test. Still on the lower side, man. I'm going to switch back to AM. Actually, you know what? Let's test FM. Hello, test, test one, two, one, two, test. Audio testing, testing one, two. All right, this is with CP or SP1 on. Hello, test, testing one, two, three, four, five, five, four, three, two, one, audio test. Well, that really sounds good in FM. Okay. Let's go to AM. Uh, sorry. Hello, audio, audio, one, two, one, two, audio. Audio testing, testing audio. And I was going to show you the. Oh. Center frequency is 250 megahertz. We start at zero and go all the way up to, what is that, 500 megahertz, okay. Hello, audio, audio one, two, three, four, five, five, four, three, two, one, audio test. And that's at negative 60 dB down, all right. Actually, probably about 65 is where our line is, noise line. Audio, hello, hello, audio, audio one, two. This is with the amp on now. Okay. Audio, hello, audio. That is on AM. 
this is on sideband. Audio, hello, hello, audio. Audio, one, two, three, four, five, five, four, three, two, one. And I'm going to have to turn the voltage down if I want to show you that. Which one of my own here? Anyway, let me turn the amp off. Hello, audio, audio, one, two, one, two, audio. Now I've got it up too much. <sighs> audio, hello, hello, audio. Now what's going on? I hate these damn digital oscilloscopes. You never know what the hell you're looking at. Well, anyway, trust me, modulation's good. Hello, audio, audio, one, two, one, two, audio. Turn the amp back on. Hello, audio, audio, one, two, one, two, audio. Yeah, you can see it up there now. Hello, audio, audio, one, two, three, three, two, one. Oh. Could be why. Well, why is it doing that? The stopping. Okay, volts per division. Okay, coupling. I don't want DC coupling. I want AC coupling. See that stupid stoplight come on every time I kit? I don't know what I did to make it do that, but... <sighs> and I, I'm turning the volts per division line. There it goes. Hello, audio, audio, one, two, three, three, two, one. Audio, test, test, audio. All right, well, I'll beat that thing back in submission with a hammer here before long. Nothing beats the regular old vacuum tube oscilloscope. Okay. My Tektronix 2246 is what, 25, 30 years old. It still works perfectly. These new digital things are made out of plastic. It just, uh, I just don't. Anyway. That's beside the point. Okay, let's zoom back out here now. There it is. I'll put the covers on it. And once I get the covers on it, we'll come back and look at it again. Okay? A really pretty radio. And this thing is a monster. It uh, got all kind of power. All right. More to come. Okay, I finally got the damn thing set. Hello, audio, audio, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, audio, one, two, one, two, one, two, audio. Audio, hello, hello, audio, audio, one, two, one, two, audio. That was on lower side band. Let's see what we got on AM. Hello, audio, audio, one, two, one, two, audio, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Audio, one, two, one, two, three, four, five, five, four, three, two, one. All right. Now I'm happy. Okay, let me put the covers on. Okay, Richard, there she is, buddy. I sure hope you get to enjoy it for a long time. Turn it on so you can see it all lit up. Notice how it takes it a second or two to come on once you push that in. So just be aware of that. It's a beautiful radio. The connection for your uh, fans in the back uh, is an RCA jack that goes to the plus 12 volt jack. It's an RCA connector that goes to the plus 12 volt jack in the back of the radio. You'll figure that out.
But it's all done. Richard, I sure hope you enjoy your new radio. It was my pleasure to set it up for you. 7-3, everybody. <laughs>